Is that a fact that Southern women overall cook better than women from up north? I won't get into that. <laughs> Made from scratch. Jesus, all right, there you go. An intimate look into the lives of your favorite artists. These traditions become very important. It makes a place feel like home. As they make the food they grew up eating. It's amazing. With the people who know them best. It made them who they are today. We do unto others as we would have them do unto us. Recognition, I'm on a mission. On this episode, Harlem rapper ASAP Ferg celebrating his long-awaited album, Floor Seats, baking a secret apple pie recipe <laughs> with his uncle and personal bodyguard, T. Nice. And later, Whoa. the boss, Rick Ross, rapper, entrepreneur, and New York Times best-selling author, is in the kitchen Woo. with his best friend and mom, Tommy. Uh, brother, I'm peeking. Uh, I've been going blind and you've seen him. Uh, they just turning up where I've been in. Where I'm elevating, no ceiling. Two meanings, yum, drop top scheming. It's a celebration. Music, new music coming out. Uh, new crib. You doing the apple pie today? You doing the apple pie today? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Our game. We'll put Cheers. it down. Yeah. <laughs> How long you been making this pie for? Like, where, where did this recipe come from? When I was in Raybrook, uh, Raybrook Penitentiary, a friend of mine uh, was doing a cheesecake. So I got a little jealous, you know what I mean? Because he had a little clientele and everybody was going to him for the cheesecake. What made him start doing that? Like, what? I don't even know. I just know I was being nosy one time. I kept seeing everybody go to his room coming out with the little bowls, and I was like, what are you doing? How you was getting paid off the apple pie? Oh, no, and I was getting paid off the apple pies from uh, canned goods, you know, can, you know, canned goods and stamps, that's like, you know, all that's, that's money inside there. That's, that's currency. That's, you know, that's all day. That's, that's currency all day. Well, I was charging five, five, five cans of tuna. You know, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> help me some? It's about time you ain't never helped me before. <laughs> Cut in the middle and hit this one. Watch your hands too, man. Don't be cutting this. Come here. When you hold it, you hold it. You might, you might just chill because you got that knife a little too close. Just come like this. <laughs> I, what I need you to do is put this here. Then my nephew step back and slide over a little bit. Then talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> Let me tell you. Man, when I was coming up, my mom taught me how to cook. First thing I learned how to cook was eggs. That was the easiest thing. It was a lot of times she was in school, and I didn't have nothing to eat in the house. I ate rice with ketchup one time. I was so hungry. I might, I might have did that one. <laughs> nah, you ain't do this. I, I made, um, you know, like the duck sauce packets? We used to save those from the Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. I made duck sauce sandwiches when I was a kid. Yeah. That was weird. Yo, pop. His go-to meal was... Tuna fish. No, his go-to meal was the bologna. The bologna and... <laughs> fried bologna, he'll fry it. He'll fry, fry the bologna, he'll fry the bologna, and just, yo. Know. You know what I appreciate is that I have a steady family. Like, I have a family that can actually add on to what I'm doing. But I just imagine, like, damn, if you, you wasn't here, how tough it would be, like, if I didn't have, like, some type of figure to look at or trust. When would you say we got close, like closest? Cause we always been close, like. To, to be honest, when, when we got closest, when you know, your pop passed away. Right. When he passed away, I was like, mm-mm. So I gotta become the, the father and the uncle. That's just what it was. You know, we had our little talks before, you know what I mean, before he had passed away. So uh, we used to just be, and uh, he used to always be like, yo, nigga, make sure he good, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Nah. Do you think that, like, he kind of sent something or something to, like, tell you all of those things like that? Yeah, because he, he, he must have, because he, he said, just make sure. Just watch over with Deli and, uh, and D, you know what I mean? So I got you know, I had to be there. Next on Made From Scratch. Look how look how the no return right now. Yo. So 
So what's the next step to making your apple pie the famous tea nice with the ice apple pie? Unlock the cookies is my next step. They in the cabinet. Yeah, in the cabinet, get the cookies for me. Let me get a cookie. Ah, wait till you did that before, B. Oh my God, this one here. Yo, come on, I just want to have. All right. 10 extra burpees. <laughs> Taking out my little icing, which I consider is frosting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, my cookies here, them dropping in here, that's gonna be my crust. That's really culinary arts. Yeah, like, that's pretty much, that's my rapping. Yeah. Like how you be rapping and all that shit getting off yeah. and all, that's my shit. Yo, I'm so excited for the people to hear the music, cause I hear the growth, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not even being biased, man. Like, that shit is... The new music is going to be like... The new music like, is... Oh, my God. It's so crazy. Because some songs we held on for about four years, and, like, we rocked to it. Like, we played it for friends, and, like, it's a vibe. But right now, it's just, like, the right time for it. It's the growth. It's everything. The best thing and the worst thing for an artist is experiencing a hit record. Because, like a fiend, once you get a hit, you want another hit, another hit, another hit. So you become a little calculated, aware it's like you just create the same song over and over and over because it worked before. But really, you're not elevating and you're not evolving. So I think with this new music is I'm really getting to what I feel versus what I think people should want. But right now, I'm throwing a little homemade crust. Ah. Apples in there, cut up my apples. Now I got my little cinnamon. Ooh, hey. More cookies. So you do layers. Right? Apples. I, I mush everything down. More crust. I'm a beast. Yeah, that look good the way it is. More cinnamon. It's all in the microwave. Ooh. Man, that looked like a vibe right there. 10 minutes. If you guys was here, you would be able to smell this aroma that's happening right now. Damn, that smells good. What I'm doing now is pretty much uh, pushing it down, compacting it. So what's that on top of it? It's a little frosting. Oh, that's frosting. You do layers. Apples. Well, cookies, apples. And I put the little frosting. So the jelly is the last touch. Jelly is the last touch. I give it a couple more seconds. I let it like soak in all the way. Like, let it like, you know what I mean? Let it like marinate really. Just a couple of seconds. What would you say your biggest lesson is in life? My biggest lesson in life was. Was and is. Was being incarcerated. Where did you think you would be if, if you didn't get incarcerated? I might have been dead. How do you feel about life now? It's just that one word. Bless, being blessed and uh, staying humble. Considering uh, how far I've come, you know what I mean? How far a lot of people come, you know what I mean? We've uh, come. Yeah, yeah, for Where sure. we come from, it's just come from? like, it's mind boggling to me. So whenever I get like caught up in my emotions or I'm overthinking and just like I'm down or whatever, I gotta think back to you overcoming everything and knowing how to condition yourself and reset your mind to be, like, upbeat. And I commend you <sighs> for making it out of the struggle, making it out of that concrete jungle, mm -hmm. coming in the real world and booming. I'm happy and blessed that I'm, you know, pretty much able to be a, a uncle, a father, a friend to everybody. Right. Yeah. Let's get this motherfucking pot together. Come on. <laughs> oh, good money, yo. It's ready. I like when it's ready like this. Yeah. I've been trying to take my time, but I can't. Let's take a little piece right there. Got you. A little small piece, nothing crazy. No regrets to the living fast, no mistakes. 
Look how, look how, look how. <laughs> take it Enjoy, A moment baby. of no return right now. Yo, this might be the best one so far. Come clean. Oh God, this is amazing. Trying to be number one, that means you can't slumber. Back breaking, hustling from sundown to sun up. Everybody wanna make moves right now. Nah, this shit is good. Y'all need to taste this right now. Coming up next on Made From Scratch. You will work two jobs cook all the food. How you did that? I had drive. Everybody wanna be famous. Reaching out for the stars who can blame us. That's famous, VIP status. Everybody, everybody wanna be famous. Everybody wanna be famous. Be right here. <laughs> I don't know Today I'm cooking one of your favorites, sweetheart. Catfish, spaghetti, lima beans, and some coleslaw. Ooh. How about that? My favorites. <laughs> I love it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start the sauce. Boss. I really just get to enjoy watching you prepare the world famous spaghetti and fried fish, because I usually just walk in. And it's and already I, it's, ready, it's huh? It's already ready, it's already done, so this is a unique day right here. First, I'm gonna cut up a little bell pepper. Green pepper. You just chop them, because they're gonna cook when we saute. What kind of flavor do the green peppers add to it? Just that little kick, this is where. We get our flavor in Mississippi. The sip. The sip. Since you don't like meatballs, you like mama's way, I'm just gonna lump it into the pot, just like that. This is Ella's version. I'm gonna give y'all this shot just to make it look like I'm doing something. Time you know what I'm for it's, the seasoning. You better believe it. So, since it's Mississippi style, we don't use all the fancy seasonings. We're gonna put some lemon pepper. Lemon pepper, baby. <laughs> Turn it up a little bit. Don't measure. We just we just dash it. Just dash, dash. It's ready for the sauce. Ready for the sauce. Tomato basil, one jar. Roasted garlic and herb in an old-fashioned tradition. I smell it. I smell it. I smell it. Now, I wash the fish with hot water. What's the difference with washing it with hot water versus cold water? Well, for me, hot water, if there's any foam or anything, it comes right up. Farm-raised catfish. Mississippi farm-raised. The best. So when we be in those restaurants and those rich people be sitting at the table and they bring that raw fish out there, is that what they be eating? It's not catfish. No. They might have some raw shrimp. So I can't say one teaspoon, two teaspoons, three pe nah. It's I don't you do go that. by the vibe. The vibe. Country girls, a lot of them like Laurie seasoning. See? I don't even use that. Put some salt, little salt. Put your little black pepper. You put lemon pepper on that too? Yes. Woo! I know you're working too hard. No. no yes, you're taking private jet. No, I been. You're jetting here, you're jetting there. I've been getting my rest. That's the most important thing. I've even been squeezing in a few naps. That's what I want to hear. You keep telling me I'm, I'm working too hard. How you did it? You'll work two jobs, then come 
cook all the food, next day do that over, do that over. How you did that? Well, at the time, I was young and hungry. I had drive. And sometimes I wonder how did I do it? I would put a load of clothes in the washer. I would start the dinner, which was usually a three or four course meal. And it was a routine for me. You mastered it. I mastered it. Next on Made From Scratch. They just finished filming Coming to America 2 at our state. Imagine growing up, that's your favorite movie, and now your home is Zamunda. That's amazing. Dude, I'm killing it, killing it, smoking them all like a cigarette, cigarette, worldwide, I'm on it like the internet, they're feeling it on the other side of the world since I've been in it. So now, I'm gonna make my seasoning for the fish. Gotta do it, Mississippi. Gotta start with some cornmeal. The old-fashioned way. And I shake it up. Shake it. That's about, that's about a half a kilo of it. <laughs> Oh, we got that work popping in the kitchen. I never seen a kilo, but whatever. We shake it real good, and it's ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's talking to me. Ooh! It just told me something. This gonna be the best farm-raised Mississippi fried catfish for the biggest boss. Made my <laughs> Woo! That thing bubbling like champagne. Club 54. Now, your special request for some llama beans. Llama bizzles. Oh, that look beautiful. We're ready for the other band. That looks so beautiful. All right, so what's in the pipeline? Bring it up today. Well, you know, you know, Other the album, the album, album in stores, you know, that that did great. The yeah. book, we just released a memoir. You know, your son's an author. I and I'm gonna just keep going. I'm gonna just keep going. Long as I got you, I couldn't do all this. I couldn't be creative and count the numbers. Y'all was blessed with the genius side of the brains. And guess what? I mastered the hustle. You feel me? And that's what make the fish taste even better. But you so, go too hard, baby. I ain't going too hard, I you promise. You go too hard. I promise, I promise. You go too hard. I promise. You know something else I'm really excited about that we haven't told anyone or mentioned to anyone? Okay. Was you know, they just finished rapping, filming, coming to America too at our state. Can you imagine? You know, that was my favorite movie growing up. So imagine that's, growing up, that's your favorite movie, and now your home is Zamunda. That's amazing. I'm excited for you too, son. This is the coleslaw. I make it real simple. You just put the coleslaw dressing. Oh, that's how that is? That's it. Dinner is ready. Fix your plate. It won't be nothing left on this plate. <laughs> nothing. You and all my grandbabies, they want granny spaghetti. <laughs> That's the one thing they have it's to the have. Best. See? If you don't have a little bit of everything mixed up on that scoop, it ain't really a great scoop. <laughs> I feel like I've been waiting on this two weeks. I've been waiting to see it for two weeks. Because yeah. you was overseas for 12 days. I was. I had one of the best times over there in Saudi Arabia. Great. The prince, he sent all the Rolls Royces for us, picked us up on the runway as soon as the plane landed. <laughs> wow. I went over there to the Red Sea. I sat now down. that was something. Yeah, 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 that was different. I enjoyed that. That was like, oh my. I could never dream that you've been so many places, William. I can remember the first day you came to my house and you told me, Ma, 
I think I'm gonna be signed by Def Jam. Uh huh. I was like, what? Def Jam. And I was always telling you, well, <gasps> I couldn't do it this long. I would just give up. You say, no, nah, mom. I couldn't. This is mine. God has been so good. Without a doubt. I told you I was gonna eat all this. <laughs>